Hey guys, going YouTube. Thank you for stopping by, checking out my YouTube videos, checking out my YouTube channel. I want to do unboxing today for a uh, compressor. Let me pull this in. This is the Fortress Ultra Quiet Series. Um, let's see here. So it's up to 80% quieter. So that's the really reason why I got it because I'm actually going to be using the house. Uh, I'm actually using upstairs, not my wood shop area. Wood shop area in the basement probably would care. Uh, but I'm using this upstairs, so it says up to 80% quieter, two times longer, 50% lighter, and it's super light. Uh, up to 28% uh, more run time. Um, one gallon tank, 135 psi, uh, up to 9 psi, 90 psi pushing out. I'm only going to be using 45 psi, so that's great. Uh, without further ado, let's get her open. Oh, and this is a fortress. I actually got it from Harbor Freight. And I used the 20% off coupon when I bought it, so it's got decent savings. Let's open her up. That always makes me a little nervous when you see all this tape. Like, did somebody open it before? Or they just being extra careful that um, somebody doesn't open it? That always makes you nervous, though. I did buy the extended warranty. I think Freight sometimes gets a bad rap, you know? But just like anything else, there's some things like... saying it's light. <laughs> it's small, but it's mighty as he would say. So, nothing else in the box other than the actual manual itself. So let's get the box out the way. It doesn't look like it was used. Just, they just actually taped it. Wow. So, Definitely decent weight. Um, little one gig tank. <laughs> kind of crazy, actually. Um, put this in a truck with air ride, right? All right, well, you know what? Let's, let's plug it in. Let's see how quiet this thing actually is. This is why I bought it, so let's see how quiet it is. It is quiet. Holy guy, bro. That's nuts. It'd be even quieter if it wasn't. I think part of the noise is actually just vibrating on my my wooden bench. This is nuts. I mean, it's literally the compressor making no noise at all. So I bought I'll show it later, but I bought a uh, oh wow look look at that. It filled up. That was quick that it filled up. Holy cow. <laughs> um wow. You know the thing about Harbor Freight is that uh they're really crazy about the returns and what I mean by crazy crazy is they don't give you a hard time at all you know if you're unhappy with something you don't like something um pretty much no questions asked they'll take it back so i asked can i plug it in inside the store and they said no so it's kind of like damn and um i was thinking well if it's loud and sucks you know then i, I would take it back but i expected it to be well i was hoping that it was quiet especially because it set up to 80 percent quieter than a standard um but this thing is super super quiet so um yeah i'm uh I'm, I'm i don't know i don't even know what to say i, I was just that's nuts so and how fast it filled up was insane so that's crazy so let's take a look at this looks like a real solid nice build um you know you got your psi in the tank what you're actually holding and then you got your psi in the tank what you're actually uh put now so easy adjustable right here you know the one on the right so it's putting out so I'm only doing 45 psi so I'm gonna turn that down 
they're about there um yeah so fill up to 120 right now that's the open and close valve no, i'm not gonna do that right now that would obviously let all, all the air do that to drain the water um shut off right here or it's set to auto and all the kicks on this is crazy it has this little baffle on it almost like a muffler to make that you know quieter um it looks like that kind of reminds me of a water suppressor and that's probably why it has this drain right here so if it picks up any fluid it's just gonna leak it out so that's something to be mindful of uh being on a hardwood floor somewhere that you wouldn't want uh water possibly you know dripping out but um insane looks like a small reset button just in case it has an overload right there but absolutely insane so it looks like there's two versions of this you can see there's a um any better lighting here a one gallon version and a two gallon version of this So there's a one gallon version, a two gallon version. I actually got the one gallon version, so Fortress. So, um, <laughs> insane, absolutely insane. Um, I'm gonna use it for a while and I'll do a follow review, but obviously I think the biggest reason why people are gonna buy this because it says right there, ultra quiet. And people are gonna say, is it really ultra quiet? Um, and what is, you know, what's it like? But, um, <laughs> craziness craziness just think you saw how fast it filled up i mean it filled up quick i mean I, I get it it's only one gallon tank but it still filled up super quick um and those pads i did buy it's like those um rubber pads you know that uh, almost look like a puzzle piece you put them together and uh, you put those on the floor i just bought that so i can stick it underneath it thinking it would make it even quieter so i think that will make it quieter because it'll be you know these rubber boots here you know on top of a rubber pad then on top of the floor so it'll be even quieter because i think the the small amount of noise that you did hear at all was definitely just the um you know the vibration from being on this wooden table crazy so uh i don't know i say buy it so let's see let's let's get it hooked up to a hose and let's see what kind of let's see what's working like I'll hook something up to it just so you can see it kind of run down in there and then back up so I got this small small HB HVLP um, upright air gun which also has an air regulator on it because this actually goes 36 it's every it's every 30 so for instance I want to do 45 psi it doesn't necessarily have it. I could count it, but I could also use the regulator on this as well. Uh, and this is what I was saying. What really reminded me, you see this thing right here, right off the motor? What is that? It's a spray, it's a spray gun filter, which actually takes the uh, removed contaminants, waters, all that out of the air. And it actually has one directly on the motor. So that's kind of cool, because that's telling me that, you know, obviously that, you know, they're, they're trying to, um, eliminate that going into the motor and you could screw this on and off and replace that you know if you needed to which is cool because these are i think it's like four bucks for one of these so yes yeah, so let's just go ahead and get this wired up and throw some air to it i wish i just had my um this air blower just to make flare but same difference with this bought these uh central uh numeric what is it p numeric i can't even pronounce it central i bought these central brass quick connectors starters just uh different connectors
Diablo hose, it's a three inch hose, 25 feet. Also bought this from uh, Arbor Freight. You always wanna make sure you use Teflon tape. I still can't I still can't get over it. I cannot believe how quiet that thing is. I was hoping it was quiet, but never in my wild streams I expected to be that quiet. That's just that's just stupid quiet. Okay, so this is a male, so we need uh, a female to screw on top of this. We're just gonna take some white Teflon tape and screw it on there. want to make sure that it's nice and tight on there and you try to keep this tape as wide as possible don't bunch it up so okay we got it we've got a couple coats on there These are solid and then just ream it with your fingers and then make sure that nothing is in the hole because you don't want it to be sucked inside the gun so if you see anything in there get it out right away don't let it sit in there because eventually that will go inside This is why you kind of want to be careful putting it on. I, there was just a, a lip on there that I should have been a little more careful of. But. There you go. So nice and clear in there. Nothing covering the hole. Go ahead and screw this on. Maybe it comes with a little handy wrench. Let's see if or get lucky and it's actually that size. Ha, it is perfect. Well, tighten that up. All right. That said, we're gonna put a little more tape on here. So what I'm actually gonna use this for is uh, for a DTG printer. And I'm going to be using it for, as my pre-treat. Instead of spending $4,000 on a pre-treat machine, I'm going to set up a board and just spray it. Um, because this gun is uh, more or less for high detail for doing uh, cars, um, it's not going to have a crazy overspray. It's going to have a real controlled spray um, because I can control it with the PCI with the compressor or the or I can use the regulator with the gun. The only downside to use the regulator with the gun is just makes it that much more heavier. So better just get it dialed in um, if you can with the actual compressor. Just make sure I don't have anything sticking in there. And I don't, I'm good. Turn this bad boy on. Feels real nice in the hand. Um, you know, I don't need a whole lot of pre treats, so this is a smaller uh, container. Um, but I think it's, you know, perfect. Feels natural. You can use a two finger. Two finger almost feels natural. You know, it's small. Uh, I do have the bigger gun version of this as well, um, but I think I wanted the smaller one just because I wanted less of a fan, less of an overspray. So I, little more control um, of what's actually going on there. So let's go ahead and put the kids crying upstairs, dogs going crazy. Tornado just passed and we we're making a YouTube video. <laughs> what are you gonna do? two passes on that. I think that's pretty fair. <coughs> All right, so this side, one side's going to be the female, one side's going to be the male, so let's screw this on.
This will happen to have a set sitting there. you can but I think just tighten them just to <clears throat> pass it because you can't break these All right. no beast mode on that like I said just tight and then as soon as you feel tight just a little extra <clears throat> you know let's put it in here Wraps, three wraps, and see how it feels. And you kind of know because you can kind of feel like how those grooves feel. And um, if you do too much, it's just not going to want to screw on. And if you don't do enough, you're going to see, you're going to hear like a, a hissing like it leaks. So um, you can always take more off. I'll put more on. It's not gonna hurt anything. Just, again, I'm just twisting it. Make sure there's nothing there. If there's not, and that sucks. Okay, so this is how I'm gonna do it. I was like, why is there? I was short, shorter fitting. These are all males right well the reason that i did that in my head and said that was okay was because on the end of this i was actually going to put see look it didn't even really jack that up i was going to put this not just to take out any components so i'm going to put this on like i originally planned so again just i feel it tight i'm gonna stop so now that's going to be a female going on there, so I'm going to put some tape on there. I almost wish I had like one of those uh, noise decibel reader things like they do in sound off competitions for cars. Because <laughs> I just can't believe how quiet this compressor is. I mean, it's... My vacuum's louder than that, you know? Like, I almost want to do a comparison, like take my standard DeWalt uh, compressor and turn it on and then turn this on. And it's gotta be like a 16th of the loud, you know, like this thing, this thing is just phenomenally quiet. I don't know if I'm gonna have time, I just rip this off. There you go. It's like has static on it, so it's like sticking for some reason, like to my hand, weird. There we go. A couple wraps. Dad? Yes. Okay. Let's get it tightened up. Again, like I said, just tight, and then once you feel tight, just an extra. Mm. Yep. 
definitely enough um, pressure if you're going to kick this down to 45 to more or less that you could not even stop for this to shut off and um, probably run it the entire time that the actual compressor is running. I think that'd be bad if you had a compressor that had to constantly run that maybe you need to need a uh, bigger tank. Um, but like I said, this thing is so quiet. Just listen to that. So if you're in another room with the door closed, I don't think even if it's the middle of the night, you're not going to wake anyone up in your house. That's, that's a lot. Let me show you. Let me wait for this to fill up. And I'm going to kick that on. I want to see how far. Let me take this off. It's hard to see. Once it runs out of air, how long it takes it to fully fill back up. And how long it takes me to run it down. I ain't about to get on. making it hard to see in the footage. It's got a little glue residue, but nothing crazy. All right, so you can see right now, it's set to, oh, that's a crazy glare. It has a little, right over a little 120 PSI. And it's set to, let's see, 50, so you wanna lower that down. All right, so let's kick this on so you can see that I'm actually using it. So 90. And I'm gonna hold this down the whole entire time. I wanna see if it actually even Much at that PSI 45, it's barely. I don't think I'll run it out of the top. See if I can. For about a minute, I'm just using the clock as a, uh, you know, um, on the camera, so kind of monitor it. So, my two cents is Rick's two cents is. Bye! Uh, and it's awesome. Super awesome. Super quiet. Definitely something that uh, you can use in your house if you want to be quiet. Obviously, you want to use it on a big compressor for an impact tool or something like that. This is probably not the compressor for you. Um, Something you want to use in your house, small wood shop, and trim, and small paints, uh, stains, uh, anything you know, obviously you don't need a ton of ton of air. Uh, I think this is a great, great buy. Uh, I'll post a link in the description below where I got it, and I'll also post a link to the 20% off coupon on the website, so if you want to use it, you can. Um, yeah, I don't think you can go wrong, especially with the price. And like I said, I know our freight sometimes gets a hard, you know, bad rap, but there's just some things that they've just done really, really well. So thanks for watching. God bless. Please like, share, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I can't stress that enough, people. Come on. I appreciate all the hits. I have close to almost to almost a half a million views. Um, I appreciate everyone supporting me and watching my videos constantly. But you know, in the past, I just wasn't asking anyone to subscribe. And I, as a as a viewer, I didn't know the importance. But as a YouTuber now, I understand that. So if you appreciate the videos that I do, uh, this information uh, is helpful to you i do suggest and i do request that you subscribe to my channel and click on the bell so you're notified when new videos are posted and you know that i post new videos so once again god bless thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next